This week's episode of Otome Game was kind of fascinating. I don't have a whole lot to say about the episode, but I appreciated the direction they took this summer vacation special where basically every few minutes we'd get the next part of the summer vacation and it was about as glorious as I was hoping as soon as I realized what they were going for because a lot of times it used to be a big trend, it kind of fell off or at least fell off for the anime that I've been following where around the episode 6 mark you'd get a swimsuit episode, you'd get a bathing suit episode, you know just something summer themed. And instead of getting that, what we got was Summer Vacation, where our dense and clueless main character is once again oblivious to just how strong her harem has become. But honestly, watching the characters and how they're interacting in situations such as these is quite spectacular, honestly. I love how you have, honestly at this point in time, I think the character I feel the worst for out of this harem is honestly the fiancé. This dude is not having good luck, like he has to literally put on a face and every time a brother, a new female friend, a male friend, another prince shows up, he has to remind people, I'm the fiancé, I should be the one in the damn boat. And that's pretty fantastic. He's been a character I haven't been overly, like, I wouldn't say fond of or hated, just he's been there, I wasn't really any that strong of an opinion. And now I'm like, thank god he's here, because honestly, just watching situations where you're like, okay, I guess that person has an argument, oh, that's a good argument too, but really, the best argument is I'm the fiancé and she hasn't called off this wedding, even though she's had plenty of opportunities to. I'm gonna sit next to her, damn it. Leave me alone. You're being way too close for being just apparently a brother. It's pretty fantastic to see his reactions. I think they really stick the landing with his comedy because rather than some of the other characters who are very obvious with their comedy and just like you can go and cut Arena's head and things like that, which I have to say had me dying seeing that her little mind minions are also taking summer big vacations like oh my god this show is fantastic but i like having a character who by all logic sense he has a point i mean he hasn't hurt her he hasn't been an abusive like kind of fiance boyfriend situation whatever you want to call them so why is it that really we're just getting so roped into this harem because it's not like it's playing by the traditional rule set where you have a bunch of characters and you pick your favorite that's who should win this show is not designed like that in the slightest. Instead, what this show does is it shows us that, holy shit, you've already avoided the main routes that were going to lead you to Doom, but now that you're in a new route, there's going to be Doom that you can't predict, but you're so fascinated on all these characters who already love and support you that you're going to be oblivious to the true danger whenever that eventually pops up. This show isn't playing by the traditional harem senses of saying, hey, you're gonna pick your waifu, your husband. Like, no, it's not what it's doing. It's literally just saying, here's a great cast of characters, and let's watch our dense and clueless idiot who we love so much see how she's gonna navigate this situation. And honestly, it's been glorious up to this point. So when characters are fighting over her, I never feel like they're trying to direct it as pick your favorite and make sure you hate the other character because that's how harems are designed to be. No, we're just watching a bunch of characters who we just love their personalities. We have a deep enough understanding at this point in time of pretty much everyone in the main or main supporting cast and it's great to see just because whenever they're on screen i'm smiling and i'm sure a lot of people are feeling the same way just watching these characters interact and just busting out laughing but there's a reason why when katarina's mom is basically talking about how like hey once she bumped her head it seems like she's changed from being a brat to just she's a handful she really really is and every time she tries to finish the sentence she just gets more pissed off with her daughter to the point that she freaks out those are the little moments that really just tie an episode together for having that comedic charm that we're definitely appreciating so much i think just having pretty much every character that has joined the harem up until this point on screen it could easily feel cluttered but somehow it's not and i think the main reason why it doesn't feel like the cast is a little too large and it feels like they don't have personality is because they took their time to establish pretty much everyone here as a person, not just here's a romantic plot line in an Otome game. No, this is a person. This is this person or this. It actually feels like they have a character and the longer we watch and the longer that they actually have arcs, the more fleshed out they're obviously going to become. So when we're basically fighting over boats and who's going to sit by who, it doesn't feel like it's cluttered or a mess. It's like, oh, we know all these characters and it feels really hilarious to see them all fighting over something that we're all just sitting here like, this girl, she just can't read a room. She really, really can't, and that's kind of fantastic. Like, when she asks someone, oh, do you like someone, she immediately will think of someone else. She ignores herself because she doesn't believe that she's changed the routes to basically be the main character rather than the villainess. And that's amazing to me. I really like how they're continuing to freshen up the formula despite honestly doing the same thing each week. It really is a bunch of characters fighting over Katarina, yet 
an episode like this where it's summer vacation themed. I never really felt myself comparing it too much to previous episodes. There were some moments, of course, like with the brother and how he was leaning in for that romantic stuff, and obviously it gets shut down because this is a Tome game. It's not actually this, like, harem. It's more or less just... Let's see how this character is going to respond. But honestly, just the way they structured it with the whole like quick beat motion where it's like, okay, summer vacation part one, part two, part three, part four, and just seeing the little snippets and just how like she didn't do her homework. Most basic anime school thing ever, but seeing it happen to her and how Keith is just like rolling his eyes, not even really blaming her, blaming himself for trusting in her. You can't help but laugh and just appreciate the absurdity in this show. It's really, really good. And that's why this show is just, it's one of my favorites of the season. And honestly, I could go as far to say it might even be one of my favorites of the year once 2020 does wrap up. And obviously it'll be a little easier depending on how much anime actually comes out this year, depending on how COVID goes. But still, it's something that it just screams me. I love the characters. I love the comedy. And when it goes a little more dramatic with certain things, I mean, I'm going to love that too. It's just, it's great to see how they continue to freshen up the formula. You might want to say, oh, we're only at episode six. Of course, they're still going to make it feel fresh. But I've seen so many shows with comedy or, you know, slice of life, or they're trying to just break a trend and it grows stale after episode four. And the fact that we're halfway through the season, and it's still going strong. This is a hell of a lot about the source material and this studio and how they're adapting it. But as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions on Episode 6 of Atoma Game down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, share your support, and remember to hit that subscribe button if you happy new around here. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.